these guys don't have anything. You know, their families live on dirt floors, mud huts, and no water, no electricity. It's satisfying to see them succeed and do what they're doing. Colorado Classic is significant. It's our first real HC race ever that they've done. Mm, my goal is uh, to presenting my country. I saw Rwandan people, they can do something special. He was a kid that had a bike that didn't really work that well. And he kept, he wasn't on the national team and he wasn't, you know, at our center and training with us but he'd always figure out or find out when we were riding and he would start riding with the team. My first time I ride bike, I was 14 years old. My neighbor was half single speed bike and then I asked him if I can ride. I was doing also how to ride, but he said he's gonna give to me his bike and then I tell him teach me how to ride bike. Yeah. We would have intermediate sprints a couple times a day. And he won one of the sprints one day, and we give little preems. It was, I think, two th so about a dollar and a half to win, win one of the preems. And when the riders came back one day, we asked them, well, who won the, the, the sprint? And uh, the riders said, well, well, Bonaventure won the sprint, but he's not with the team, so, you know, the first was, you know, the second place guy, and we said, hey, wait a second. If you won the sprints, you go take the money and bring it to Bonaventure and tell them to come to camp tomorrow. So that's really how he started getting on the team. Well, now I'm really happy to be here with Coach. He was asking me about the genocide. I was really young, I was don't know anything about that. I watched so many movies about what happened in Rwanda. I feel to to show to show in the world how one people they really work hard to to build our country.